I have to get back to the Normandy, don't I? I don't remember. There we go. Hello, I'm just gonna wander back down to my ship for no reason at all. Pay no attention to me. I'm just gonna... I'm not in any way trying to go to my ship to uh, take it off without authorization from the base. Alliance officials report that a Geth incursion into the Armstrong cluster has been repulsed, with the Geth suffering heavy casualties. In the event of future Geth activity, the Alliance plans to maintain a strong security presence in the area. Yeah, well, a security presence will not involve me. Because I am Audi 5000. Alright, time to get the heck out of Dodge. Stand by shore party. Decontamination in pro <laughs> This should be fun. Oh, he is there. Great. Anderson? What are you doing here? I didn't send <clears throat> Oh. Wow, Anderson. <laughs> Not a crap was given. Get us out of here, Joker. Now. Unauthorized breach. Time to save the universe from itself. Alright, before I go any further, I have to talk to my people. <laughs> I have to talk to them because I have no idea what they're thinking, and it's about time. <clears throat> it's about time I talked to them and say, saw how they were doing, so. Hey, how do you feel being renegades? Hmm? How does that feel? And not an actual renegade, but... Can't believe we stole the Normandy. Okay. I know we'll all be court-martialed if this doesn't work out, but part of me loves this. That's the part I want you to listen to, Presley. Never mind about the court-martial part. I'm sure we'll be fine. Joker, what do you think? Aw, oh, damn it. No sign of pursuit? I was hoping the Council would send some ships after us. I was looking forward to putting the Normandy through her paces. Figured I'd get to see what this ship can really do. Saren's still out there. Maybe we'll get a chance to play hide-and-seek with Sovereign. You know, it doesn't seem like much fun when you say it, Commander. Yep. So you need something? How's the Normandy performing? Is she everything they said she'd be? She's the best ship balances. The I Normandy's probably this. too much ship for your average Alliance pilot, Commander. Lucky for you... How'd you end up joining me? My mother was a civ... Spend all that time around Alliance ships, there's a good chance you'll end up going to the Academy. I have to go. Alright, see ya. Okay. He never says anything different. Hey, Sir TV, Zyren, what's up, man? How you been, dude? You have not been around much, Zyren. I haven't seen you. Good to see you, man. Got to talk to my crew. <laughs> uh, I don't have to talk to Caden anymore. <laughs> That's a damn shame. Not really. All right, let's get reloaded with some uh, some medical supplies. 
That's oh man, I'm already full up. Oh yeah, under two jobs. Oh yeah, I hope in a good way. All right, what do you think about us doing the Normandy Doctor? Strange, being a fugitive from the Alliance. This crew has sacrificed everything for you, Shepard. Don't let us down. Don't go breaking my heart. Okay, sorry. All right, here we go. The conversation with Liara that I'm not looking forward to. Do we have anything? No, but maybe we have some. No, but maybe I love no. This will all be over soon, Shepard. One way or another. <laughs> That's what you got up from your chair. I'm going to get up from a chair very slowly. This is all going to be over soon. And now I'm done. This will all be over <laughs> soon, Shepard. One way or another. Really? That's all you got for me, Liara? Seriously? She's like, I have something important to say. Wait for it. Wait for it. This will all be over soon. Also known as the computer programmers mailed in my dialogue at this point. All right. I got everybody here. Let me check my quarters quickly and then head down to the next deck and talk to all my peoples. See how they're doing. I feel like these two people are always here. Do you guys do any work? Do you do any work? I'm the captain. Yeah, I'm a human specter. I'm the first one, and now I'm a fugitive. Do you... Is... What... What is your job here? Do you... Do you play cards? Like, I don't know. Alright. I'm predicting that Garrus is gonna like this. I'm predicting Rex will not care. I'm predicting Ashley will be worried. Alright. Let's talk to him in turn. First of all, let's see if I can get rid of this almost romance that started. Hey, Maps. Uh, Commander? About Lieutenant Alenko. How are you holding up? Can't say I'm better. Sorry for anything I said back there. I just... I don't want any deaths on my hands, and it's my fault. I don't like losing people either. It's funny. I don't have any fear of dying for the Alliance. But when I think of someone dying for me... Um... If you don't mind my asking... How did you deal with the losses on Akuz? The what? Oh yeah, the losses on Akuz. <laughs> it was my job to get everyone out safe. I failed. I vowed not to let that happen again. Same here. I'll remember him, and I'll do better for him. Yeah. I guess that's all we can do. Thanks for the advice, Skipper. What's your opinion on the last mission? <laughs> Where I stole the Normandy. Had a hard fight ahead. Fleets of AI dreadnoughts who've exterminated all life dozens of times over. Mm -hmm. Hey, T minus. The odds are against us. Screw the odds. We have an advantage. We know they're coming, and we know about their indoctrination. I don't plan to lie down and die, Skipper. Don't worry about that. But I'm infantry. Against Reapers, my rifle hey, Lego. fire spitballs. I won't have a place in this war. That's what pisses me off, not being able to shoot back. All right, we'll enough of your nonsense. Later, Looking forward to it, Skipper. Oh, I'll bet you are. All right. Rex. Oh, save it first. Rex, what do you think about everything? Stealing an Alliance ship? Risky stuff. You like it, right? I hope you know what you're doing, Shepard. And? You think I'm crazy, don't you? Sometimes crazy is the best way to go. Yeah, I knew you liked it. I just hope they don't catch us before we get our hands on Saren. You and me both. I just hate to get stuck now. Alright, I've already done that. So long, Rex. Shepard. <laughs> Shepard. Alright, Garrus. Then I'm going to talk to the Alliance guy. And then I'm going to talk to Tally. And then I will continue with my quest. Garrus is going to like this. He already had the I'm throwing my police badge on the table moment. I can't believe we stole the Normandy. After everything you told me, I it seems a bit extreme, don't you think? Stealing the Normandy is a trivial risk compared to the threat of Saren. Yeah, I suppose you're right. That's what he always says. If you're wrong, we'll pay for it. But if you're right and we did nothing, I think we'd regret it a whole lot more. I just hope we can catch Saren before they realize we're missing. We'll catch him. Just be ready when we do. 
Yes, command. Yeah, not tonight, Lego. Uh, hopefully tomorrow. I'm just, I'm <clears throat> excuse me, I'm really tired. Um, and so I just want to, I'm not really in a state to start up a whole new um, sorcery, you know, funny fantasy adventure. But we will do it, I promise. Um, we'll get back to Forest of Doom, hopefully tomorrow or the next day. Um, I need to talk to Satolbo again and see where what his status is for the next couple of days about mapping and stuff like that. So we definitely will do it. I'm just, I am too tired tonight, so. All right. Looking for supplies? Yes. Actually... Okay. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. All right, I got a new license. Did that give me anything? Oh my God, dude! Do you ever get anything different? Oh well, no. Nah, but see the accuracy rate. No, not good enough. Nope. Oh, that mm, no, no, that's not good. It's not good enough either. All right, let's let's sell some stuff because because why not? With five million freaking gold. All right. Uh, first of all, let's. All right, let's sell everything that's seven and below, except for the thorium gas because that's a unique item. Okay. What do I have on right now? Yeah, that's what I thought. I have I have a better one, so. Uh right. Okay. Yeah, Lego, I can understand that, man. Don't worry about it, dude. Like like your your parents said the right thing. Don't worry about it, man. Hey, I know, man. I, I desire I think six million is a little excessive, don't you? I, I just don't know what to do with all this crap. Okay. Now I'm going to get rid of duplicates. Of which there are many. Although I have really enjoyed this game, I am looking forward to what I understand is a better inventory system in Mass Effect 2. <laughs> which does not involve constantly being overloaded with 8,000 guns. I should not be a mobile armory. I don't need four of the exact same weapon. There's a certain point I want to say about 60% of the way through the game, something like that, where there was literally no reason to buy anything anymore except like a license on occasion um, because everything else you found was better except for the Spectre gear. Now that was badass, but everything else. Um, and once I had the Spectre gear, I didn't have to get anything else, which in a way made things easier. But trying to keep everyone else equipped and trying to keep track of like how many duplicates I have and who has what for when and you know, it's like, man. Look at this, I had like four energized platings. Yes. <laughs> That's true. This is this is the extension of capitalism in the new in the new century. <laughs> Mass effect in the years ahead. <laughs> the the real winners will be stockbrokers. Alright, sorry guys, I'm not gonna make a big thing of this, but I have to. Six sledgehammer rounds. Snowblide rounds, however, I'm not selling because these things are freaking badass. Um, oh. Oh, no, I can't wear that because it's heavy armor, right? Right, right, right. Katana, scorpion, harpoon, blah, 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 blah. All right. Look at that. Eight million. I almost want to sell... <laughs> I want to sell, you know what, I'm going to do it. I want to sell enough so I can say that I got to 10 million credits. <laughs> oh, that's cool, Lego. Uh, it's an infiltrator, uh, Zarn. Let me tell you, which has been a lot of fun. Well, especially once I get that Spectre sniper rifle. That's it, Mars. No, you know what, though, dude? <laughs> okay, funny you should mention that. Let me just finish selling this stuff, and then I'm going to show you... What you just said is very interesting. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you uh, something interesting. All right, I'm going to sell a lot of the eights. I really do have a lot of eights. Oh, am I gonna have enough? Oh, 
Oh, come on, 10 million credits. <laughs> oh, Lego. <laughs> That's awesome. Thanks, dude. I can do it. One more. Uh, one more. Uh, come on. Almost. Oh, look at it. Oh, did I break it? Did I break it? I did. I broke it. Look. Look, I can't sell anything else. 9,999,999. Tilt. Tilt. That's right. I said it. Freaking tilt. I win. I want to. I want a freaking achievement. I can get no more. I cannot get any more. They're like, nope, no more credits, no more credits for you. And I still have stuff that I could sell. Oh my god, it is. It's nine million nine hundred ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine. I now win the game. Now, Morris, you asked about about Omni Gel. How does seven hundred and twenty two Omni Gel grab you? Is that, is that, you think that's enough, Mars? Because if not, I'd be happy to sell some of the 8,000 things I still have, although now I've actually gotten it down to something reasonable. I think I finally, with that last little push, I got it down to something normal. 722, and not that right there. Look at that. 10 out of 10 Medi Gel. I just need two more grenades. 722 Omni Gel and 9999999. That is, that is so broken, I can't even describe how broken that is. It's pretty funny though. There is there is a part of me. I don't I don't necessarily like doing that in the game. But that was all bo basically natural. It's not like I was running around doing everything I possibly. It just it just worked out, you know. <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right, let's talk to Tally and then let's get on our way. <laughs> oh, it's funny. Oh wait, let me talk to Engineer Adams. How do you feel? Heard we're headed into the Terminus Systems, Commander. That's right, Adams. Don't worry, sir. The Normandy's a hell of a ship. She'll get us through this. Uh, thanks. Heard we're headed into the... Don't worry, sir. All right. All right, Tally. We're fugitives on the run. Very exciting, Shepard. I wonder what the... Man on the caught. run. Won't your dad help us? Your father probably had some political pull, right? He wouldn't let them throw his little girl in jail. Oh, there it is. You don't know my father. Stealing ships is a capital offense among my people. He'd probably want to execute us himself. Yeah, good luck. The Normandy's the best ship in the fleet. They'll never catch us. I hope you're right. What was your father like? It wasn't easy, girl. Uh, he had to set up. He never allowed. But now I've already I'm seen old this. enough to appreciate what he taught me. Like what? I already saw that. All right, so they have nothing. All they have to say is, "Wow, we stole a ship. That's exciting." All right, move on. Okay. Well, if you say so. All right. That means then the time has come. We're going to move up to the galaxy map. I'm going to see if I can do any of the other little side quests that I have left. I probably can't. That's okay. I only had left, anyway, um, uh, the minerals quest. I had a few of those left to get. And I had um, Pharos. Um, the, uh, the one quest on Pharos, which was to get the dude's uh, data recorder thing, and that's it. So even if I don't get it, I feel pretty pretty comfortable about that. Damn it. I'm a commander of a ship. People will follow me without question. I still don't know where the hell anything is. Alright. Here we go, yo. Alright. All right, let's make it happen. So, these are the only side quests I have left. Data recovery, Pharos. Uh, locate signs of battle, I forgot about that. Two league medallions. And the minerals quest. Four light metals, nine heavy metals, seven rare earths. That's it. So, if I'm not allowed to do those at this point, I'm okay with that. They're probably, it's probably going to send me right to Ilos, but that's okay. Well, let's see if they will. There's Ilos. Maybe they will. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm thinking what I'm going to do is... Hmm. 
Well, let me go cluster by cluster and see if I can survey um, these things and get the last stuff. I can't imagine they're going to let me do this, but it's worth a try. Every time I take one of those, now that I know the deal with the Reaper, the Reapers, I'm kind of like, is it okay to take this relay? Like, a little freaky. Okay, nothing in Pluto. Neptune? Nope. I feel like I've surveyed most of these planets, so whatever's left is me just landing to get some stuff, which is not really what I'm looking forward to doing, but... So I'm just quickly checking and seeing if there's anything on any of these planets that I can survey and finish that up. Then go to Pharos, just grab that thing and then move on. I was never planning 100% this, but, you know, if it's an option, I mean, since I kind of, I feel like I did it sort of naturally. I, I don't know whether I was able to do it mostly just because, um, yeah, the moon. I wonder if I was able to mostly do it, land on Jupiter. <laughs> Sadly, no can't do it. Uh, I wonder if I was mainly able to do that just because I did it in two steps where I did most of the side quests before I kind of got burned out and since I started playing it again I did it I did the rest of it you know so I'm wondering if that sort of changes you know the equation at all. Um, all right let me land and just see whether or not there's anything left on here I don't think there is. I can't believe they're even letting me land here. I would have sworn that I would have just opened that map and they would have taken me right to Ilos without me even having a chance to think about it. Unfortunately, there's no way to know. I mean, I've been on this base, so I feel like I've already gotten it. Lions Training Ground. CCP Luna. Yeah, see, I've already done this. Okay. How you doing, Demiser? Um, Demiser, you missed it. I broke the game. Check it out. 999999999. I tried to sell something and it didn't give me any. I have maxed out my money. I cannot get any more money. There is no money left in the universe. I have all of it. <laughs> yeah. It was awesome. I was just like, tilt. And it meant that I have only like six or seven items left, but I'm not completely out. Yeah. It's considering that it was not at all anything that I went out of my way to do, it's just, it's pretty funny. Okay. Let me go back to the Citadel now. Um, right. Okay, let's try Exodus Cluster. Alright, let's see. We'll work left to right. Um, let's start with Utopia. That sounds promising. What could go wrong? Kaplow. Oh, Zarin, I didn't see you said that you picked Infiltrator. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, I generally play snipers in games like, in games like this when I have an option. Um... Even in FPSs, like I played uh, Hunter in Borderlands 2, I mean in Borderlands, and so. Well, that's also because he gets an awesome hawk, but. Nothing in Nirvana. How about Zion? Nope, nothing in Zion. <laughs> Eden Prime. I know all about Eden Prime. So long ago, I was on Eden Prime. How about Arcadia? No. All right, so nothing here. All right, let's head to Asgard. Sorry if people are not going to be super interested in my tying up some loose ends here, but I feel I'm I'm this close to basically 100%ing it. I might as well, you know, try <laughs> to, or at least come close to 100%ing it. Um, I wouldn't go out of my way to do it uh, normally, but if I'm this close, I might as well give it a shot. That's from Bring Down the Sky, which I already did, so I'm not going to go back on on Asteroid X57. Terra Nova. Boar. Nope. Wait, it was over 90 what? Oh, over 90 moons. Wow, that's a lot of moons. Hey, Tally. Alright. Asgard. 
Yeah, alright. So cool, alright. So I hit local, Texas cluster. Alright, Noviria. Noviria, you are next. Let's start with Strenus and then we'll go down to Noviria. Well, as you can clearly see, I'm racing right now, Tally. <laughs> No, actually what I'm doing is just trying to pick up a couple loose ends. I thought I wasn't going to be allowed. I've left the Citadel. I am now a fugitive. So I thought I wasn't going to be allowed to do this. But if I'm given a chance, I'm seeing if I can uh, basically fill in the last couple of gaps uh, in my quest log. Which is just Pharos um, getting the stupid, uh, whatchamacallit, USB stick thing for the guy. So and I think I've been there. Let me just check and see if there's nothing else. I'm going to go back to Zone. Um... And then try then two uh, Turian insignias, and the rest of it is just minerals and stuff. And I know there are a couple of places where I didn't where I didn't land where I had the chance, because um, I was trying to avoid doing that. But all right, let me land on Zawin and see whether I did this already. It sounds familiar. I feel like I probably have, but. The frozen wasteland. Alright. What do we got? Corpse and... Yeah, see, I mapped all this stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, I thought so. Wish there was a way to tell... Like, planet... Well... I mean, I know there is a way to tell, like, in your quest log, but it doesn't say if you've landed on a planet that's not related to a quest. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't... I would love to be able to... If they just had a little marker, like, planet already surveyed or something, like, that would be awesome. You know? But because they don't have that, I don't entirely know. Um... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. They do an ME2. Yeah, well, I've heard some some negative things about ME2 as far as the surveying. That that's not interesting either. But but don't tell me if that's true, because I'll find out for soon. I'll find out for myself pretty soon <laughs> when I play ME2. But, uh, I mean, you could tell me in general terms, like, oh, it's, you know, it's cool, I like it, or I don't like it as much as this, or whatever. You can tell me that. That's fine. No. Noveria. Yeah, yeah, I already did Noveria. Oh god, that was the planet that I... Oh no, I will never step foot on Noveria again. That, those clowns. Alright, let's get out of that nebula. That was a waste of time. See, I already did a bunch of these. Man. Um, I don't know whether I should waste time doing all that. All right, let me hit the Artemis. Oh, really? I really... My what? You don't mean my journal, do you? See, these are the ones that I have left. Oh, okay. These are the ones that I have left to do. I have to go to Pharos to just get this thing. I'm annoyed that I didn't do that when I had a shot. This, I need two more League medallions. And that's done. And then this... Four more metals, nine more, four more light metals, nine more heaven metals, and seven more rare earths. They at least contain the date. Well, yeah, but the date doesn't really, I mean, that doesn't really help me very much. Um, I don't know, man. I'm trying to decide. Yeah. The star date? Sorry. What do you mean? Doesn't look like it. I don't see any star date there. I mean, I could sort it, but like oldest and newest. Yeah, 
<laughs> no, no. I well, I I thought that's what you meant, but then I was like, wait, maybe he's man. Star Teak Ref <laughs> Tracker. No, I, I understand. I understand. That was one of those like so angry. All right. Right, I did that. See, I already went through a bunch of these and surveyed... I pretty much... I know for a fact that I surveyed all the planets in here. Um, except for the ones where I had to land again. <laughs> oh, that's fine, Matt. That's fine, Matt. Um, I, hey, listen. You're never going to get an objection with a Star Trek reference. I'm a big fan. Uh, let me see. just don't know if I... Really torn... No, no, no. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go to Pharos. I'll go to Pharos and I will land and get the stupid guys, uh, you know, whatchamacallit, um, data thing, but. But I'm not going to go wandering the universe looking for minerals. I really hope I can find it quickly. I don't think there should be anything left. Let's go get that Pharos thing, and then we're going to Ilos. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. All right. Incidentally, if I'm going to run into a bunch of guys... Yeah, I... Well, sort of... Yeah, Talikos, I surveyed every world that I could survey, but I did not land on every world. I'm sure there were probably, I would guess, three worlds, maybe, that I didn't do. Um, that I didn't land on. And really don't feel like landing on now. Um, so, yeah. I mean, actually, you know a good way to ask this question? Can people tell me, beyond... I know the effect, obviously, that the reason that, you know, Mass Effect 1 saves affect Mass Effect 2. Like, I get all that, right? But can anybody tell me, beyond, like, the level point... Wait, what? Okay, good. Beyond, like, the leveling idea, beyond the fact that, uh, you know, the higher level you are, the more it affects things when you go into the next game, does anyone know if these quests make a difference on what happens in ME2? Like the data recovery module or locating the signs of battle thing or the valuable minerals. Does that have any effect or is that just XP? Because if it's just XP, I, I don't want to waste time doing this. So does anybody know? Oh, God damn it. <sighs> really, in ME3 some of that helps? Oh, man. Well, I, well, I did the Asari writing. Yeah, yeah, but I'm not talking about that now. I did the Asari writing. The only ones I have left are the locate signs of battle and the valuable minerals and the data recovery thing that I'm on right now. Damn it. I know it all goes over, but... <laughs> Sigh. Yeah, hey, me. What's going on, man? You guys are supposed to be like, oh no, Arv, it's fine. No, 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 don't worry about it. No, I don't want you to do that. That's just me whining. Uh, what? The hell? What 
the heck is this? Why can't I? Oh, really? <sighs> Damn it. I don't it does I don't think it matters. Cause I can't I can't get I can't get the elevator. To go to the skyway. When you're out, you're out. Alright. Well okay. Alright. You get a resource bonus. I'm seriously considering asking someone to um sorry, make sure I know where I'm going. To uh Nope, oh, wrong way. Uh, I'm seriously uh, considering asking somebody to do me a favor and grab the um, grab the uh, a walkthrough for me and just tell me where these last two things are, so I don't have to waste time. Because to me, no, I'm not talking about the data recovery. Screw that. Um, just the um, the miner the two missions, the um, the t two league medallions. Although I've already got eight of them, so it may not tell you which ones I've already done, but. And then the valuable minerals thing, because <clears throat> I like to just like run through that and get back to the quest. Let's get down to business. Not tonight, meet. Um, I'm too tired. Um, I uh, I wanted to play something, but I was just not in a. I'm not in a state to start up Forest of Doom and like run stuff and everything and be my usual usual cheerful self. So. Um, so, uh, not tonight, um, hopefully tomorrow night, um, or if not tomorrow night, then, um, hopefully Friday. I need to get with, uh, Satolbo and find out, uh, about the mapping, um, and whether he's going to be able to do it, and if not, we'll kind of move from there, so. Yeah, soon, but not tonight, though. Locate signs of battle. Alright, cool, thanks, Tally. Let me just get on the ship, and then I'll take a look at that. I almost did all of it with having, without having to go out of my way. Almost. Almost did all of it. Thanks. Thanks, Telecos. Just give me a second while I get into my ship. I don't know why I can't figure out how to run. I feel like I'm holding down shift, but it's not. Stand by. Do what it needs to do. Hey, Nat. Decontamination in progress. How are you, sir? Okay. Logged. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. All right. Let me stand next to the map so I know where I am. Okay. We'll back up. All right. Alright, let me take a look at this uh, thing you just popped up. Oh, yeah. I feel like I, my wife is getting over a bad cold. My daughter had a cold last week, and I think I'm trying to keep from coming down with something now, too. So, I feel like everyone has been sick everywhere. <laughs> We've just all been, like, collectively sick recently. Uh, Alright. ID tags. God damn it, I don't remember. Let me see. Um... League medallions. Five, six, seven. Yes, so I've gotten all of... The, okay, that's what I thought. So I've gotten all... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I've gotten all the survey ones. So I just have to land at... Armstrong ne Nebula. Oh, actually, I could just go to Hades Gamma and do it. All right, Hades Gamma it is. All right, Hades Gamma, let's do it. Uh, of course, I should have checked and seen which one is which, but... The Normandy really is an awesome looking ship. <laughs> T 
Pally. I, uh... Not entirely sure that I know what to say about that. Except I... I hope you're enjoying yourself. I guess I'll just leave it at that. Good for you. Alright, as I completely forget what I was just supposed to do. Oh, wait, why am I doing that? I just look at it over here. Actually, you know what I could really do? I could use my other monitor because because that's certainly not something we could try. All right, in the Plutus system. All right, let's take a look. Not <laughs> totally Lego, right? Oh, that's awesome, that one. That's really cool. That is going to be really neat when that goes, when uh, we can bring that live. That's really awesome. Okay. Nonual. Let's do it. Warlord's outpost. What? I don't want to go to a warlord. Oh. How about a quick save? Oh, cool, cool. Yeah, um, I'll see if I can get over there later on and ask him myself. Or I can drop an email also. Judging by the footprints in the ash, the two mercenaries were facing each other over the crate when they died. Both suffered single gunshot wounds and have a rifle close beside them. Alright, Matriarch's writings are covered. Carefully wrapped handwritten copy of one of Matriarch Dilanaga's treatises. Unlikely she penned it herself, but the flowing brushwork and intricate watercolor illustrations clearly show the hand of a master scribe. That's wonderful, except I don't really care because... League of One Medallion, alright. There we go. Unbelievable. More rounds. Please do have more rounds. Okay. So now I've got how many? One league medallion left to get. I'm also going to pop up the... Uh, uh, it's good to go to for what? Because I don't need equipment... And I already have 9,999,999 credits and 722 Omnigel. So, <laughs> there better be a damn good reason. Okay, what planet am I on? Again. Whoa, I gotta get in the Mako. I was like, why is my hazard level going up? Oh. Okay. <laughs> Lego. That's cool. <laughs> that's, that's awesome, man. Backstory. All right. If you say so.
Yeah, looking at those minerals, by the way, I'm not going to start going individual planet by individual planet. I don't care what the resource boost is. So, once I do this medallion, League of Medallions thing, and I do the Warlo Warlord's Outpost thing, then I'm, uh, as they say, Audi 5000. Definitely need to do this, because I don't know if I'm going to run out of Omnigel. He said, joking. That's not exciting. Okay. Yeah, it looks like you're actually ready to start actually doing it now. Alright, Warlord's Outpost. League of One Medallion. And then... Hylos. This thing is totally ready for Thresher Maw. Oh, look at that. Oh my god, this is such a Thresher Maw place. Let me see if I can move around the outside. Yeah, like I was saying, I, I, yeah, I was saying it's time to time to actually start writing some of the entries now that you got that uh, that backstory down. Sounds like it's gonna be awesome. Okay, that's cool, Mars. All right, sounds good. That's what I'll do. Good to see you, Brahms. How are you, man? Oh, hey. Minerals. If I see them right next to my... the Mako, I mean, I'm gonna do it. Sumerium. Oh, okay, Lego, sure. Sure, sure. Yeah, um, I'm just wrapping up a couple of loose ends. I'm not going to wrap up all of them, but just about all of them. And then I'm going to go to uh, taking care of this Warlord outpost on this one planet. Then I'm getting one more League medallion. And then I'm heading... Uh, oh. Got it. And then I'm heading to Ilos. I have left the Citadel. Uh, Sumerium is often found with Frodoarium. Wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> uh, that joke will reach you, reach some of you guys later. I haven't talked to Rex enough. What, Rex? Let's go. No, Rex. Rex. All right. Well, that's fine. You know what? Whatever. I saved Rex from certain death, so... Let's get out. Nice, Lego. Boggy swamps of Lothor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry, Brums. Okay. Let's save it up here. Alright, one more place for the medallion. Okay, Dis and Clensel. System is Dis, planet is Clensel. Because I am maxed out on charm. Nedowin and I, I talked him some, I gave, I talked some uh, sweet sense into him. I was like, listen, Rex, it doesn't have to go down like this, baby. You know that I know that you know that I know that you don't have to die. Wait, where the hell is Dis?
What? No, it was Barry White. <laughs> Where's Dis? It says it's in Hades Gamma. Yeah, I saved him. Oh, okay. I thought I did talk to him, but maybe not as much as I should have. Anyway, not a big deal. All right. Where? Why? Has the system wrong? Clensel? 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 No. Ugh. All right, I'm gonna go to a. I, you know what? I think it's got this wrong, so I'm gonna go to someplace different. Armstrong Nebula. <laughs> I was just thinking how bad this would be if there were random battles along here. Alright, Gagarin. Let's go. Yeah, it was pretty awesome, um, Ned. It was kind of a cool moment. That was when I was on uh, Vermeer. Good to see you, Kanku, by the way. Alright, here we go. Gonna land here. Pick up the last medallion, save it, and go to Ilos. Although this looks familiar to me, so I really hope I didn't land here for some other reason. Actually, I think I knew that, Brahms. I think I actually knew that now that you mentioned it. I had forgotten it, though. Please don't tell me I already, I already surveyed this place. Oh, God damn it! Oh, crap. Yes, I already... Shoot. All right, well, while I'm here, I'm pretty sure I already surveyed this, but I'll try. Yes, over Ashley. Brahms, I don't like either one, but Caden was the biggest emo, like, oh, God. I mean, I didn't want him to die, but given a choice, and I didn't really like Ashley even, but let me just be very clear here. Come on, let me not have surveyed it. Damn it, I knew I surveyed it. I knew it, I did this part. All right, let's try Styx Theta. All right. Should have told Saren to take them both, yeah, yeah. Well, there is that. Now, if I had lost Rex, I would have been pissed. But Caden? Yeah. Yeah, and then he whined for the next 20 years about, oh, I hate blah, 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 blah. All right, here's hoping that this one is one that I have not yet landed on. This is the one problem. In an RPG, you've got to have a better way of marking, like, planets that you've surveyed and things like that. But, anyway, it hasn't been much of an issue. No, I know, I know, I understand, but, like... God damn it. I... It's 
says there's 12 of them? Maybe the Horset Nebula? He's hoping for the best. Yeah, yeah, exactly, Brahms. Still a very cool concept, but and I may miss it when it's not there, as I know it's not in ME2, but we'll see. Okay. There's an asteroid somewhere. There's an asteroid somewhere. Survey the asteroid. Why? Dude, is this wiki wrong? It says Armstrong Nebula, Nebula Tereshkova, Carbonaceous Asteroid. I know, I looked. Oh, there it is. Thank you. Survey that. Some daring maneuver by Joker. A small team was able to recover some debris from one of the larger rocks. Among the items discovered was League of One Medallion. Yay. Thanks, Mars. I thought it was in the belt, but I just didn't see it. All right. That completed that. 100 XP. God, weak. All right, so all I didn't do was the valuable minerals. I got a lot of them, and I didn't do the data recovery. So I am pretty pleased with that. All right, Ilos it is. Time to go save the world, kids. Actually, time to go save the universe. <laughs> Ilos time. All right, terminus system. Uh, terminus system. Let's go, Leroy. Oh yeah, Brahms. Actually, let me just quickly see if there's anything else I can survey. That'd be funny. Pressure cooker, atmosphere, carbon dioxide, and ethane. Several areas of debris that may be the wreckage of down Prothean aerostat colonies. Based on the size of the debris fields, a population of over a hundred thousand was likely. Okay. What about Zafe? Relatively small hydrogen helium gas giant, bits of debris in equatorial orbit, blah 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 blah, blah artificial origin, etc. Okay. And Ilos. In the golden age of the Protheans, Ilos was a verdant world dotted with the spires and arches of magnificent cities. Even casual observation shows this is no longer the case. Ilos has been devastated by means unknown. Its entire surface changed to the color of rust. The atmosphere shows heightened levels of oxygen. Wildfires, presumably ignited by lightning strikes, can be seen burning on the dark side. This indicates that most, if not all, respirating animal life forms have died off. Surface gravity is a comfortable 1.17 standard G's. Delightful place. All right, here we go. Skipper? Don't you think we're a little past titles? We had to do this, Shepard. You know that. There was no other way. And you'll always be the skipper to me. Oh, God. Oh, captain, my captain. Are you seriously quoting Whitman? First Alfred Tennyson, now Walt Whitman. You're full of surprises. Dad loved all those sappy poets. Mom was more into Plath. I'm not a word person, Shepard. Other people say what I mean better than I do. We're mutineers. Sailing a stolen warship into the most hostile system in the galaxy. Just call us humanity's best and brightest. I keep reminding myself we're doing the right thing. I don't believe me yet. Believe me then, you're doing the right thing. Death closes all. But something ere the end, some will note 
may yet be done. Not unbecoming men that strove with gods. We'll get home again, Shepard. I believe you'll lead us through. Oh, Captain, my Captain. <laughs> Look at the option. Then follow me to my bunk. <laughs> really? Oh, God. In that case, follow me to my bunk. Oh, Captain, my Captain. Uh... Ash, I don't always want to leave. Uh, I try not to do. Sometimes I'd like to stand beside you. I don't want to romance with her. Is that an admission of something, Shepard? Really? I have a better idea. How about I lead? I've spent my whole life fighting to get what I want. To get it done, I had to bury a lot of things. During that whole time, not even once did I feel like I was worth what I was fighting for. You make me feel good enough. Oh my god. Uh, let's see. So I have a question. How about I lead and you follow? So, assuming that I follow through on this romance that I did not initiate and I'm annoyed that I'm dealing with now, um, I may just say this isn't the right time, but if I do this, does this preclude me involving myself in a relationship with... Like, the person who, I mean, frankly, no one has floated my boat to this point. Uh, in terms of romance options, but if there were a romance option, Tali would be the closest. So, like, yeah, not now. Ash, I'd like nothing more than to be with you now. Actually, not true. But with everything that's going on, you're worried about the crew, aren't you? All right, we'll put a pin in it, just so they don't get all jealous. And also because I don't love you. Assuming we don't get the firing squad. Although Ashley is uh head back to my bunk and um <laughs> find something to entertain myself. Wow. Sleep tight, Shepard. Bridge to Commander Shepard. We're five minutes out from the Mew relay. <laughs> Wait for me. <laughs> Wait for me, Joker. I'm gonna be about five minutes. Just um I'm gonna be in my quarters and uh just gonna be just gonna be in my quarters now and um I have to say, Ashley is, is beginning to rise in my estimation. I, uh, you know. <sighs> I'm coming up. Prep the ship for silent running. Aye, aye, sir. Shepard lost in his thoughts. Alright, here we go. Oh boy. It's a tarp. Uh, Commander? We've got company. Great. Have their sensors picked us up yet? Well, stealth systems are engaged. Unless we get close enough for a visual, they won't have any idea we're here. Picking up some strange readings from the planet's surface. Dig us down, Joker. Lock in on the coordinates. Negative on that, Commander. The nearest landing zone's two clicks away. We'll never make it in time on foot. Get us something closer. There is nowhere closer. I've looked. Look, you incompetent fool. Drop us in the Mako. Right. You need at least 100 meters of open terrain to pull off a drop like that. The most I can find near Saren is 20. Shut up. 20 meters? No way we can make it. Everyone drop. shut up. We can make we a drop. We have to try. Find another landing zone. There is no other landing zone. Good God, people. The descent angle's too steep. Why are you all it's losing your mind? Option. Everyone shut up. It's not an option. Ugh. It's a suicide run. We don't... I can do it. Joker, I can do it. Gear up and head down to the Mako. Joker, drop us right on top of that bastard. Everybody panic! Man. Let's make it happen. Wow, that's terrifying. Hi, Saren. Welcome to Earth. Keep moving inside now. Punk. Nice. What's up, Kanichiwa? We have 
to get inside this bunker before Saren finds the conduit. Yes, Tally, I know. There's no way we're getting past that door with brute force. I also know that. Saren found some way to open it. There must be some kind of security override somewhere in this complex. <laughs> Epic bass drums. We'll have to find some way to get it up and running again. Alright. Damn it. Elevator. Elevator. Wow. Time to save, time to save. Mm -hmm. Need to find a security control room to open the sealed doors leading to the underground archive. Pharos is a, like the ancient human city of Troy, Ilos is a world known only through second hand sources. References to Ilos have been found at several other Prothean ruins, though direct study of the world is unlikely to occur. Ilos lies in a remote area of the Terminus systems, only accessible by the legendary Mew Relay. 4,000 years ago, the Mew Relay was knocked out of position by a supernova and lost. Since then, Ilos and its cluster have been inaccessible. Occasionally, a university will organize an expedition to chart a route to Ilos using conventional FTL drive. These never get beyond the planning stages due to the distance and danger. The journey could take years or decades, passing through the hostile Terminus systems and dozens of unexplored systems. Eh. Wait, I can't save? Seriously? Oh. Alright. Let's get it on, then. Now can I save? Nice. Boof, boof. Yeah, epic is the word, Net. All right. Time to move out. Barely see that guy. Come on out, clown. Guys, I cannot see with you shooting. waste grenades here. I've only got seven. shield. Whoa! Oh, hi! Uh. Whew, I thought... <laughs> I was like, why is there anything behind me? I got rid of those dudes. Do something with... Do something with interface? I don't understand that. What do you mean? You mean like chat is... There's like a chat delay or something? Or...
Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, oh jeez. Ow. Alright, there's one. Ow. Ow again, man. Delay between audio of the stream and its video part? Okay, hey, Sheepy. Rather than using up a Unity, well, I guess I could just use up a Unity. Yeah, screw it. Back on your feet, Talia. I don't want to make you wait. I don't want to wait and see when you get yourself back on your feet. Man, there are like... Enemies, eh, enemies everywhere! What the hell is that? Oh, that's a statue, great. That statue will never bother anyone again. Winning the award for dumb. I don't need to go down here. Especially if all I'm doing... I'm not interested in, like, exploring for items, which I clearly don't need. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ha! Suck it. Okay, maybe this is another way down. Then. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Good to see everybody. Oh, armature control. That would be nice. Hell yes, I'm going to decrypt this. Ah, stupid. Ah. I'm going to have to use some of my 700, uh... 700 Omni Gel. Shoot. Uh -huh. Come back here. Yes. I'd say the term crawling with geth would apply here. 
I won't lie. I'm hoping that what this is doing is making it so I'm going to have less people to fight as I go through. pretty creepy this music stuff um i don't know i'm not dropping any frames um and no my fps is is very good as far as i know on my end i don't know what it's like for you guys it's okay for everybody else or hey rookie Okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. Sorry, Stevie. I assume that's just, yeah, that's what I thought. All right, Let's see what I can do with that elevator. Oh, gotcha. Wait, what? Where's the elevator? Oh, maybe it's okay. Maybe I have to go up and around. Uh oh. All right, I feel like I'm sort of vaguely going in the right direction. Famous go to where there are still enemies left, I guess. Whoops, come on. Anyone else? part of the game where I'm liking me some sniper quite a bit quite a bit I can still use a couple more grenades if I got that in a crate that would be I can't believe I did that ah oh I was gonna get it too I wonder if that armor could be good for, uh, for Tally. Ooh. No. That's assault rifle. I don't care about that. 
Let's see, is it better? Hmm. Three better damage protection. 21 better shields, but 13 worse tech biotic. Uh, yeah, it's better. Oh. Not a terrible look. Yeah, I think so, rookie. Because from what I understand, it e it only gets better. Like the the sniping is even better in the later games, and I'm kind of enjoying the sniping now. So, so yeah, pretty much. I think so. It's funny because uh, Inominatus, who plays on Destructoid, um, he plays mostly assault guys. So his methods are so much different than mine. Like his method is basically just run in and blow everything away, regardless of what damage they're doing to him. And I'm like, yeah, that's not. <laughs> I feel like that way lies madness. Oh boy. Ah. Oh, how did I miss? You say super easy? Now wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> Knowing how much I sucked at snipers at the beginning, I have to take some exception to easy. If you mean I'm using my advantages, <laughs> then I'll accept that. Uh, oh hey. What? Elevator. Whatever, Nettoin. You're just jealous. <laughs> Biotics, right? Yeah. Hurry up. I don't want to lose the Frogger game again. Good. I did not. Ooh, a Savant. I think he's already got a Savant 9, actually. Yep. I already got one. That's what I thought. Nice, Tally. Well, all except for the raisin part. Am I able to drop down there? Should I drop down there? Nope, I can't drop down there. Alright, well. Wouldn't mind joining us, Tally? the hell was that? Was that just so I could get up here and get open a crate? What? Really? That's the only reason I was here, was for a crate? I... okay. Rather underwhelming. Hey, Ben. Good to see you, man. Uh, I do not have Mass Effect 2, but I am going to play I am going to play it after this. I'm going to get it on Steam. It doesn't matter, right? Uh, the saves transfer regardless. I can get ME2 on Steam, and then I can get, if, I, if ME3 has not already been moved to Steam by the time I play that, I can still get that on Origin, and it doesn't matter, right? As long as, as, long as the saves still get transferred regardless. Because this is disc version, and like, uh, that I'm playing right now. So I assume that it doesn't matter, but... 
Oh, yeah. Well, Zyron, actually, it's funny because I got, like, I have to finish some of the Tomb Raiders. I have another Assassin's Creed to do. I've been playing around with maybe doing The Witcher. Yes, you can do that. Okay, cool. Good. It was amazing that I managed to get it transferred over from my old computer over to this new system. So, okay, cool. Oh, was it, Ben? I didn't, I didn't know that. Yeah, Zyron, I have played Coder 1. And I bought Coder 2 to play with Jade Empire. Um, I have Jade Empire technically finished as well. But it must be running off its own generator. Yes, I am an this Assassin's Creed fan. This is the command center for the entire complex. Seren's troops must have sealed the doors from here after he went inside. We'll have to figure out how to disengage the security lockdown if we ever want to get inside that bunker. Yes, I think we're aware of that already, Tally, but thanks. Um... Yeah, Coder 2. Uh, yeah, I played, uh, I've played all the Assassin's Creed through Brotherhood. I still have Revelations to play, and I haven't played AC3. Um, I played AC1, AC2, AC Brotherhood, uh, and all the downloadable content therein. So all I'm missing is just um, Revelations and AC3. Um, and I've played the first Tomb Raider, the Anniversary. I still have Legend Underworld, and then the new one, when that comes out, theoretically, I have all the Heroes of Might and Magic, like... So many games, so little time. I've played the first Night of the Old Republic, but not the second one, and I still technically should finish Jade Empire. Although now I'm not sure if I could go back to Jade Empire because I've been having such a good time with um, with uh, Mass Effect. But ACDC, hey, yeah. A pirate, nice. Arr. Ah, security station. Well, well. Armature Bay, please tell me that I took those dudes offline when I changed that control. So I do not want to fight a ton of armatures. Oh god. Oh my god. Ah, oh, you... Rex. Nice, Tally. Like, Rex, like, you're, you're Rex. Like, you should not be sitting there going, I don't know what I'm going to do with this guy. Ow, ow, ow. I've lost shields. Dude, what? I've lost shields. What the hell? What am I fighting? Like the overlord of, uh, Why am I not able to hit this thing? I've lost shields. Oh, it's a prime, that's why. Yes. Man. Oof. Wow. <laughs> Everyone right? Wow. Yeah, technically I haven't even finished Skyrim. I mean, there's that too, so... I don't know if I want to repair these. We're gonna see if this is a bad idea in a minute. Uh, 
Hi. Are you... Uh... <laughs> oh my god. That is terrifying. Are these guys working for... I think these guys are working for me. Armature hacked. Okay. That's what I like to see. I like the idea of armatures being hacked. Oh, nice. Alright, we're going to save that. Oh yeah, Ben, I know, man. You're you're on quite a bit. You're watching uh, Inom's... Uh, you're usually around watching... Um, whatchamacallit? Uh, Inom's Mass Effect stream, too. You save. Saving content. Let me check and see if that's going to help tally that shotgun. Oh, she already has the Armageddon 8. Okay. Well, we do not need two Armageddons. God knows. God knows we do not need two Armageddons. I think we can all agree on that. Uh, ooh, wow. That's more damage, worse accuracy. Hmm. Yeah, that's that's worth it. Let me just check these quickly. Yeah, all right. Worth it. I need three. <laughs> right. If I get three Armageddon's, then uh, then I found it. I found what I need. I'm not quick saving yet because I don't want to get rid of the quick save I had earlier. So I'm like avoiding the quick save, quick save. Right now? God, every time that happens, it freaks me out. I'm like, what? What? Wait. Okay, good. I was like, um... Nice. Come on. Seren's already got a head start. We have to go find him before he reaches the continent. Damn it! Unless he's already found it, then we're just walking into a trap. That's a tarp! That's a chance we'll have to take. Hold on. Something's happening. Truly. Unable to... Invading fleets. No escape. Sounds like some kind of message. But I don't recognize the language. It's probably in Prothean. This recording must be 50,000 years old. No wonder we can't understand it. <laughs> I understand it. The message is all broken up, but I recognize some of the words. It's a warning against the Reaper invasion. Incredible. The cipher must have transferred an understanding of the Prothean language into your mind. That's right. Not safe. Seek refuge. Inside the archives. What's it saying? Can you make out anything useful? Fought Reapers. The Citadel. Overwhelmed. Only hope. Obi-Wan. I 
act of desperation. The conduit. All is lost. Oh no, I knew better, Brahms. It said something about the conduit, but it's too degraded to help. We should go. It cannot be stopped. Nice. Cannot be stopped. Cannot be stopped. Um. <laughs> so, new favorite bumper sticker today. Um, I'm gonna quick save it now. I was at the uh, I was at the uh, this uh, restaurant walking outside. Bumper sticker on a car had Obi Wan 2012. He's our only hope. <laughs> I was like awesome, and it had like the patriotic looking, you know, the stars and stripes around it. Whatever is like Obi Wan, our only hope. All right, let's go say like. Oh, security system is disabled. All right. Yep. I know it. I know it, man. I, it's much respect. That kind of freaked me out. I saw some huge Krogan charging towards me. I'm like, ah! I was like, oh, it's Rex. Oh God! Like I can get back. Like I can. Seriously, I can remember how to get back to the Normandy. That accomplished absolutely nothing. Was that trip really necessary? No. Oh god. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. No, Brahms, it was awesome. Their response was really awesome. Their response was basically like, they were just like, uh, we feel that um, in general, um, you know, serving serving the needs of, of uh, evil would probably not be a wise use of resources. And, uh, and then they like estimated how much it would actually cost to do and stuff. It was pretty funny. The white, but they had like the special counsel for something. Like it wasn't just some, it wasn't just some like, uh, you know, glorified secretary. It was some actual, you know, legit uh, person that did this. Wait, what? What? Why? Why can I not get in there? What? Maybe I have to go around. Still cannot figure out how to how to run. That's no moon. All right, I'm really hoping that. Uh, really hoping I can go. I can get there this way. Ah. Pluto, sadly taken out of planetary status wrongfully. So wrong. Oh my god, the drums. Quick save failed? Great. Oh, nice. Did not fail. Yeah, let's hope that stays. Yeah, great. Oh, Mako. Okay, hold on a 
else we take the vehicle into the creepy underground bunker? Well, I do. Like I needed a reason to do that. <laughs> I'm not sure. I think I could actually do get more experience by Really, dude? All right, let's make it happen. Make it rain. Whoa, hello. This is like this isn't a tarp. I thought Saren would have set some kind of trap or ambush for us. They must have been in too much of a hurry. Really, Rex? Or we just haven't run into it yet. Seriously. Like, okay, so Rex just did the thing where the guy's standing at the free throw line, and the announcer's like, well, this is a 98.5% free throw shooter who's working on a streak of 200 consecutive. Guaranteed. Next one. Clang. You know? What's up, Parker? Good to see you. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, can't complain. A little tired, but can't complain. What are all those things on the wall? Some kind of containers? They look like stasis pods. The Protheans probably tried to keep themselves alive through cryogenic freezing. Something must have gone wrong, though. This bunker became their tomb. I'm gonna shoot there in a minute. The pods are dead. And so is anyone inside. All of them? There must be hundreds of those pods. What was Saren expecting to find here? There's nothing left but corpses. <clears throat> uh, one hopes not, Sir TV. One hopes not. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah, this is from the opening credit screen, isn't it? I mean, the opening uh, menu screen? Yeah. No, the North Korea is not going to do that for the reason that Brahms just said. Eventually, what will drive North Korea to is economic pressure, which has already been having an effect. But it'll take a while. Wow, what the hell? I feel like I'm going to the master control program in Tron. Whoa, alright. I'm going to save this somewhere else. Because that looks pretty freaking epic. It's a trap! Saren must have set an ambush. It's a tarp. I don't think Saren's behind this. Oh god. Well, crap. Alright, we'll do it the hard way. Shoot everything! Exactly. 
All right. Never want to talk in the elevator. What do you guys, what do you think? How about those Red Sox? Hmm? No. <laughs> exactly. If this were simply an automated trap, Saren would have triggered it. What do you think this is? Something scary. Don't get your hopes up. The only thing we can depend on right now is ourselves. The Watcher's Chamber? What? Tell me quick save failed. All right. Okay. Let's find out what this is. This is like Metroid. I love it. You are not Prothean, but you are not machine either. This eventuality was one of many that was anticipated. This is why we sent our warning through the beacons. Looks like some kind of VI program. Pretty badly damaged. I do not sense the taint of indoctrination upon any of you. Unlike the other that passed recently, perhaps there is still hope. Wait a minute. How come I can understand you? Why aren't you speaking the Prothean language? I have been monitoring your communication since you arrived at this facility. I have translated my output into a format you will comprehend. My name is Vigil. You are safe here for the moment, but that is likely to change. Soon, nowhere will be safe. Are you some kind of artificial intelligence program? I am an advanced non-organic analysis system with personality imprints from Kesad Aishan, chief overseer of the Ilos research facility. Well, that clears it up. Why did you bring me here? You must break a cycle that has continued for millions of years. But to stop it, you must understand, or you will make the same mistakes we did. In before Matrix. The Citadel is the heart of your civilization and the seat of government. As it was with us, and as it has been with every civilization that came before us. But the Citadel is a trap. The station is actually an enormous mass relay. One that links to dark space, the empty void beyond the galaxy's oh, horizon. Oh, crap. <laughs> when the Citadel relay is activated, the Reapers will pour through, and all you know will be destroyed. Well, goddammit. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I probably am going to be along with that, Neto, and I agree. How come nobody ever noticed the Citadel was an inactive mass relay? The Reapers are careful to keep the greatest secrets of the Citadel hidden. That is why they created a species of seemingly benign organic caretaker. And I scanned that. It's them at the beginning of the game. The Keepers huh. maintain the station's most basic function. Hey, Salonis. They enable any species that discovers the Citadel to use it without fully understanding the technology. Reliance on That's the Keepers cool. ensures no other species will ever discover the Citadel's true nature. Not until the relay is activated and the Reapers invade. Uh, Salonis, I just wanted to quickly say, yeah, that's pretty awesome. I uh, just want to quickly say, Salonis, thank you very much. Salonis just bought my book, and I sent you a Twitch message, Salonis. It is on the way. So it is on my, on its way to you and should be there next week. So thanks, man. I appreciate it. If you like it, please, please review. <laughs> but thanks a lot, man. How do the Reapers survive out in dark space? We have only theories. The researchers here came to believe the Reapers enter prolonged states of inactivity to conserve energy. This allows them to survive the thousands and thousands of years it takes for organic civilization to rebuild itself. But in this state, they are vulnerable. By retreating beyond the edges of the galaxy, they ensure no one will accidentally discover them. They keep their existence hidden until the Citadel Relay is activated. Yeah, I did that way, way back. Reapers can wipe out the Council and the entire Citadel fleet in a single surprise attack. That was our fate. Our leaders were dead before we even realized we were under attack. The Reapers seized control of the Citadel and through it the mass relays. Communication and transportation across our empire were crippled. Each star system was isolated, cut off from the others. Easy prey for the Reaper fleet. No, he's from Pennsylvania. Um, Over the next decades, the Reapers systematically obliterated our people. World by world, system by system, they methodically wiped us out. 
So, uh, Brahms, it, it has some similarities, although it's really much more a tribute to kind of Tolkien and Robert Jordan uh, and people like that that really kind of inspired me uh, when I was younger, especially Tolkien initially. Uh, and most of the fantasy that I write, actually, um, I'm working on a short story right now that is also, I mean, I write fantasy, uh, speculative fiction, but um, most of it doesn't tend to be epic or high fantasy, but the third sign is. So um, you can ask other people. Polar has read it. Um, there have been, uh, oh, geez, Aunt Beth has read it. Um, uh, Coltraz, like, I think there's like 10 or 11 people now on stream that have bought it. Derp as well. So um, I was going to say, Ben, the reason they don't blow up the Citadel, they said, I mean, I don't know for sure, but they said they were waiting until we had advanced far enough that basically, as I understand it, they could harvest us for resources. So they basically let civilizations gradually build up, build up, build up over ten, you know, tens of thousands of years. And then once they become amazingly, you know, advanced and have all these resources, the Reapers come in, you know, basically destroy them, harvest them all for organic matter, and then leave the galaxy again. <laughs> so, and yes, it is also what connects them to everything, too. The war was lost. If you had surrendered, they might have let you live. No offer of surrender was ever given. Our enemy had a single goal. The extinction of all advanced organic life. Through the Citadel, the Reapers had access to all our records, maps, census data. Information is power and they knew everything about us. Their fleets advanced across every settled region of the galaxy. Some worlds were utterly destroyed. Others were conquered, their populations enslaved. These indoctrinated servants became sleeper agents under Reaper control. Taken in as refugees by other Protheans, they betrayed them to the machines. Within a few centuries, the Reapers had killed or enslaved every Prothean in the galaxy. They were relentless, brutal, and absolutely thorough. Yeah, the other thing is, I mean, number one, they don't believe in the Reaper threat. Number two, the Citadel is like this amazingly, incredibly advanced fortress that allows them to protect themselves against, you know, like warring things like the Terminus systems and stuff like that. So there's that as well. And you wouldn't, bl and the last thing is, they didn't even know. I mean, they didn't even know that this was a problem. This is the first time, apparently, that anyone's actually heard this warning in time that theoretically, if I can get out of here, I can warn them. So. Right, what Brahm said. Well, the key is to start killing the organic caretakers, and that'll, that'll do that. <laughs> What do the Reapers get out of this? Why do they keep repeating this pattern of genocide over and over? The Reapers are alien, unknowable. Perhaps they need slaves or resources. More likely they are driven by motives and goals organic beings cannot hope to comprehend. In the end, what does it matter? Your survival depends on stopping them. Not in understanding them. Uh, hey, listen, guy. My stopping them depends on understanding them, all right? I'm so sick of everyone being like, okay, you've done pretty much everything that could possibly be considered. You're so amazing already. Now let me tell you how to do this. Like, no. How about I call the shots? <laughs> I don't understand. Where did the Reapers go after they conquered your people? Our worlds were stripped bare, harvested by the indoctrinated slaves. Could be. Everything of value, all resources, all technology was taken. Certain that all advanced organic life had been extinguished, the Reapers retreated back through the Citadel Relay into dark space, sealing it behind them. All evidence of the Reaper invasion had been wiped away. Only their indoctrinated slaves were left behind, abandoned. This is... <laughs> Mindless husks, no longer capable of independent thought. The indoctrinated soon starved or died of exposure. The genocide of the Protheans was complete. This is an epic plan. Like, you know, this makes like the whole, hey, let's uh, let's blow up all the gold mines in the world. Like, this makes all the big bosses just look weak. The Reapers are like, all right, here's what we're going to do. Every 50,000 years, <laughs> we're going to come back, <laughs> use the galaxy fortress you thought was awesome. You know what I mean? Um, so, and also, if you guys, those of you who are here and watched me actually interact with a Reaper... These dudes are also, I mean, arrogant maybe isn't reasonable, maybe I'm anthropomorphizing it. It's not arrogance, but it's complete, like, we are, in, we are infinity, we are all things, and you are nothing. And, you know, we're like ants, you know. You said you brought me here for a reason. Tell me what I need to do. Hey, Gil. The conduit is the key. 
Before the Reapers attacked, we Protheans were on the cusp of unlocking the mysteries behind mass relay technology. Ilos was a top secret facility. Here, researchers worked to create a small scale version of a mass relay, one that linked directly exactly, to the Legion. Citadel, the hub of the relay network. Anonymous. They are Legion. Kondo, it's not a weapon, it's a back door onto the Citadel. How did you manage to stay hidden? All official records of our project were destroyed in the initial attack on the Citadel. While the Prothean Empire came crashing down, Ilos was spared. We severed all communication with the outside, and our facility went dark. Awesome, Gil. The personnel retreated underground into these archives. To conserve resources, everyone was put into cryogenic stasis. I was programmed to monitor the facility and wake the staff when the danger had passed. But the genocide of an entire species is a long, slow process. Years passed, decades, centuries. The Reapers persisted, and my energy reserves were dwindling. Dude, Ben, <laughs> this whole this whole setup, like the Reaper setup, makes Illuminati look like look like you're playing, you know, Monopoly as far as like strategy is concerned. You should have fought. We were a few hundred against a galactic invasion fleet. Our only hope was to remain undetected. I actually agree with that. I began to disable the life support of non-essential personnel. First support staff, then security. One by one their pods were shut down to conserve energy. Eventually, only the stasis pods of the top scientists remained active. Even these were in danger of failing when the Reapers finally retreated back through the Citadel. Well, relay. if that's true, I saved the Rachni Queen, Kanichiwa. There so. were hundreds of stasis pods out there. You just shut them down? You killed them? You were programmed to protect them, not kill them. This outcome was not completely unforeseen. My actions were a result of contingency programming entered on my creation. I bet they didn't tell the non-essential staff about this contingency. I saved key personnel. When the Reapers retreated, the top researchers were still alive. My actions are the only reason any hope remains. And that's why, Rookie. When the researchers woke, they realized the Prothean species was doomed. There were only a dozen individuals left. Far too few to sustain a viable population. Yet they vowed to find some way to stop the Reapers from returning. A way to break the cycle forever. And they knew the Keepers were the key. Aren't they under the influence of the Reapers? The Keepers are controlled by the Citadel. Before each invasion, a signal is sent through the station compelling the Keepers to activate the Citadel relay. After decades of feverish study, the scientists discovered a way to alter this signal. Using the conduit, they gained access to the Citadel and made the modifications. This time, when Sovereign sent the signal to the Citadel, the Keepers ignored it. The Reapers are trapped in dark space. Saren can use the conduit to bypass all the Citadel's external defenses. Correct. And once inside, he can transfer control of the station to Sovereign. Sovereign will override the Citadel systems and manually open the relay, and the cycle of extinction will begin again. Is there any way we can stop them? There's a data file in my console. Take a copy when you go. When you reach the Citadel's master control unit, upload it to the station. It will corrupt the Citadel security protocols and give you temporary control of the station. Uh, guilt underground? It will give you a chance <laughs> against Sovereign. <laughs> Wait. Where's the Citadel's master control unit? I've never heard of anything like that. Through the conduit. Follow Saren. He will lead you to your destination. Yeah, I, I have to say, to this point, out of all the races I've encountered so far, the Protheans have been the baddest ass ones that we found. I mean, the Protheans basically outthought the Reapers on this one, and they thought the reason that we kept losing these wars, that all the sentient life kept losing, is because they kept fighting, thinking in their own cycles. So they're like, oh, you know, a hundred year history, or five hundred year history, or even the Asari, like a thousand year history, or whatever. Um, instead of thinking in the tens of thousands of years, and because the Protheans did that, this gave the Protheans a shot. Like, that's pretty badass.